Um, hi, everybody. Today, I wanted to talk to you about moving from Angular to React. Uh, my name's Alex. But first of all, I know it's been, you know, you've listened to a lot of talks today, and I want to grab your attention straight away. So today, I'm, I'm going to talk to you about uh, what was good about moving from Angular and what was really difficult as well. So for me, leaving Angular was really, really emotional. Um, I spent a year building an Angular app. Angular is this big, big library that you spend a lot of time investing about learning. And so leaving that is all kind of like, you don't want to start again, but you have to do these things sometimes. Um, so I started learning, started learning React, uh, did a couple of basic tutorials, and I'm like, I'm going to master React now. This is easy. And then you realize, yeah, I can't make an app just with this. I've got to learn all these other things. And I remember um, sort of looking at Flux, and someone showed me this diagram. Um, and that didn't really help. Um, and then I remember going to work one day, and I'd built this really basic React um, and Flux app using the Facebook Flux. And the guys at work were like, what? No, no one uses Facebook's Flux. What the hell are you doing? And I was like, ah. Oh. Another one of those moments where definitely kind of confusing at the start. Um, but I think the moment came for me when I realized that React is just a view layer, which is kind of confusing when you're first moving over because people talk about, oh, you should use React over Angular. But really, they mean you should use React, Flux, Redux, React Router over Angular. And maybe that would have made it a bit simpler, but I get there in the end. And the shift in thinking was a big change as well. Um, but not that it took a, took a long amount of time. It's just actually, it felt really good compared to this magical scope that you're updating and definitely felt better. Um, I don't know if this is because I came from Angular necessarily, but I was doing it really, really wrong for a long time. Um, I had a lot of state in my Flux stores and a lot of state in my components. I remember reading an article about it at Container Components, and that definitely cleared things up for me. Um, so in relation to things that I thought were the same from Angular, that uh, sort of rang a bell for me, um, I thought that React uh, components definitely reminded me of the Angular view layer and Angular controllers in the sense of you've got a view layer that you're calling methods. Um, in Angular, you'd call methods on your controller. And in React, you're calling methods from within your component. Um, and React stores uh, reminded me of Angular services or Angular factories. Um, in a sense that it's the place where all your state is stored. Uh, but now, I thought it'd only be nice to leave on that slide after the first slide. I'm a big fan of React. Really enjoyed the talks today. Uh, thank you very much for listening to me.